going on guys? So I got a bunch of new parts for the truck. Let's get those unboxed and see what we got. Alright. Ordered from Summit Racing. One of probably the easiest places to get anything in terms of anything automotive, whether it be stack replacement, performance, you name it, it's pretty easy. Always send a bunch of stickers, which I dig. But with the truck, um, early spring, the goals basically are gonna be to drive it as much as possible. Uh, so to do that, we need to make sure that it is uh, reliable and safe. Um, and if you watched my lowering the front suspension video, uh, you may have noticed that a lot of those suspension pieces are completely worn out. So this is pretty much going to be dedicated to remedying that problem um, and going from there. So, first things first, we have upper ball joints. Got a pair of those. Let's see, what else did I get? I got a new Pittman arm, because the steering is still a little bit suspect. I got what? These are the lower ball joints, I believe. reinforcement bracket. These uh, reinforcement brackets, classic performance, um, super easy to install from what I understand and obviously just peace of mind um, in terms of stiffening all of that up. Pitman arm puller because I didn't have one and this is a big one that got brought up in the comment section. I know I needed it uh, but I wasn't I didn't have it and I just wanted to get those springs in. But that's the rear shock relocation kit. This is pretty heavy duty, again from Classic Performance. Uh, this is going to mount to the bottom of the trailing arm and then it brings the shock location uh, forward. So instead of that shock sitting like it is now in the lowered state like this, this brings it all forward so that it sits more vertical. Um, there's this as well as this piece. Which is for the, the upper portion of that. Um, so that, I looked at a lot of different sites. I looked at, um, which sites did I look at? Brothers, LMC, ECE, um, and Summit was the cheapest and free shipping and it came the next day. So I, I don't see why anyone would not use Summit. Personally, I use them all the time. Not sponsored to say that, not paid to say that in any way, shape, or form, uh, but I prefer it. All new hardware, which is always, always nice. But that's not all. You can tell by the title of this video, there's a big one. And what that is, that's going to be the new wheels. They're just chilling in the living room. Um, as you see, black rhino hard alloys. They are owned by, black rhino is owned by TSW. One of the cool things, and I reached out to them um, to explain uh, why I think that they should be marketing more to guys like us who are running these old C10 trucks. They have the six lug lug pattern, so you don't have to do a five lug conversion. They have all sets of different off offsets different widths, different sizes, um, so you can create staggered stance if you want pretty easily. Um, 
they're geared more towards off-road wheels, but they have a lot of wheels that look sick on street trucks, uh, like I'm doing. Uh, so let's tear these open and I'll show you what I got. All right. Let's tear into these here. These are, like I said, these are Black Rhino. They are the Mala, M-A-L-A. -A. It's a 20 by nine and a half. So it's a big old wheel. It's the six lug pattern as you see. Uh, so no five lug conversion, which let's be honest. Yes, it opens up a lot of options in terms of wheels, um, but it's kind of unnecessary. Um, in my opinion at least. Uh, most of these trucks come stock uh, with the 6x139.7 millimeter uh, lug pattern which is the same lug pattern that they're using now. Uh, so it's not really that big a deal. Um, it's just finding the right offsets and whatnot. Which um, This is a 15 offset. It's gonna be close up front. Uh, we may need to make a little bit of adjustments in terms of getting it fit. But, hoping that we don't. I went with a gunmetal uh, matte finish. It's actually not super matte. There's some sheen to it. So, it's pretty sick. Pretty sick. Um, what I'd like to do, and I don't know if I'm going to do it. I'll probably use vinyl. Um, I want to put the matching gold in these little guys right here. I think that would be cool. And then, don't roll away on me. There we go. Comes with your center caps. Which is nice. Even with the bolt pattern being modern, the, the bore size that you need for the, the hub is pretty small um, on the modern trucks, and it just doesn't fit on the old ones. So when we flip this around, the thing that I like about Black Rhino is they give you plenty of room uh, for that hub. So, I mean, that's there's plenty of space in there for everything. So, pretty freaking excited about these guys. So, yeah, these things are sick. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen these. Um, I posted about them, and come on, now. there we go. I posted about these uh, with just a stock picture. Uh, these are ones that I wanted to to go with. Um, I had already pretty much settled on that. I kind of wanted to do a staggered an 18 up front and the 20 in the back, uh, but decided to go just square, 20 by nine and a half uh, front and back, and. Like I said, I, I had already picked these out. These are the ones I was probably going to get. Uh, I reached out to Black Rhino and they decided to jump on board. Uh, so partial sponsorship on these, which is cool. Um, cut my cost down a little bit. And the reason they were willing to do that is because I explained to them, look, you make awesome truck wheels, six lug. There's a lot of guys you know, like me who are doing builds like this on a budget. They don't want to do the five lug conversion if they don't have to. Uh, the fact that you offer the larger bore size, uh, you can just plug and play onto these old trucks and give it somewhat of a modern look. And they've got a lot of designs, a lot of basic designs. You can do a six lug with a five spoke. Uh, so if that's your style, you can do that. They have all different colors from chrome, gunmetal, uh, golds, um, machined looks, uh, gloss, matte black, you name it. I mean, they've, they've got it. Um, Lots of different sizes, like I said, lots of different offsets as well. 
uh, so you can play with it and get it to work for you. So this is what's going on. Um, I don't know when exactly it's going to happen. I don't have tires yet. Um, I don't know exactly when they're going to go on. I want to get the suspension done first, which you saw. We still got to get the C-notch in the back as well. So I think we're going to break it down into sections. I would like to do the back first because I am waiting on one part for the front. I'm waiting on um, control arm bushings. Uh, I'm waiting on those. Those were back ordered. Uh, so when I do the front, I want to do the front all together. I'm going to take it completely apart. I want to get the control arms uh, knocked down to metal in fresh paint. You know, get them looking nice. And then, yeah, so on the, the rear, all we really need to do is get that shock relocation kit in and the C-notch. And then the back suspension, the rear suspension is completely done. Uh, the mini project, that's going to be pushed back a little bit. Not urgent, like I mentioned in that video. That was one that um, just kind of came up and it's not costing me anything for it to sit there, so it's just going to continue to sit there. It's the update. This is big. It's huge. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the wheels. Let me know what you uh, want to see next outside of the suspension and everything. There's definitely some body work and whatnot that needs to get done. Um, all of the chrome, which is pitted and destroyed, um, we're going to sand all of the chrome on the outside of the truck down, uh, and I'm going to get some of this gunmetal matte gray. Um, and we're going to paint the accents that color as well. I want to paint the letters on the tailgate uh, in that same paint. Um, so just kind of tie everything in together. And uh, yeah, the truck's going to be pretty damn cool here pretty quickly, uh, which, is, which is always fun. So once again, let me know what you guys think in the comments about these wheels. Yeah, if you want to follow along with what we got going on next, uh, consider subscribing, hit the like button on this if you like the wheels, and we'll see you once we start getting these mounted up. See ya. Let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse, man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth. Working hella hard till they put me in the dirt. Gonna go far, man, listen to my words.